Hey everybody, Skerlink here. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we finished off Stone Tower Temple and got ourselves the Great Fairy Reward by getting all the stray fairies in that temple. The Great Fairy Sword, which is honestly, until the final episode, the best sword in the game. Wabam, wabam, shazam, shazam. And in this episode, we're going to be handling some side quests. Actually, just one. I had another thing planned, but we don't have enough. We don't have the ability to do that. So maybe another day. And like an extra episode. Not an extra, but like the episode where we just take care of everything before we finish the game. I'll call it the any, everything else episode. Whoa. Buddy. I think it's spazzing out. Alright. Enough wasting time. It's time for us to do what I have been really looking forward to. The frog quest. That's an exaggeration, by the way. So I'm gonna be doing a step-by-step -step process of what to do during the frog quest. So I'm gonna cut away. The first step is to defeat everybody's favorite childhood superhero, GOAT! Yes, in order to do this quest, you have to make Snowhead go back in the spring. Or, yeah, Snowhead. Wanna make, gotta make those Gwons happy. However, this fight should be a breeze since, since, you know, we got ourselves some good old-fashioned infinite magic thanks to the Chateau de Romani. So, yeah. You gotta kill, dang. We got him. We got him good. You know what? I'm gonna experiment real quick. Uh, where are they? What would light arrows do? Probably major damage, bro. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're speedrunning Dot, bro. The goat. I'm gonna call him Goat. You can't stop me. Because he is still Goat in my eyes. I did not want to become Gohan. Nope. Nope. Oh, he's still running. We gotta get out. Dang, even with all this defense, he came and do a thing to me. Like, that did no hearts at all. We are gods. Got a... Got... Goat! I'm gonna call him Goat, still. So. I know when talking official names, his name is Got... But I, I don't know, man. Goat just sounds way funnier. Like, oh no! Darmani was defeated by the evil, the almighty goat! Makes it sound like he actually got killed by like a mountain goat or something like that. I don't freaking know. Son of a god. Dang, this ain't going well. Whew. I don't know, I'm just recording the, go the goat fight because. I don't know, I thought like today was going to be like a short episode. Die. Please. Dang. This man's got some juice. He's got some high C going up in him. Yeah. Oh, I feel bad for the poor soul. Okay, one more shot was all we needed. Alright, so that's the first step. As we go away to step two of the process. Yes, the next step is dawn of the final day. We only have 24 hours to do this, this one big thing. Do I think we can do it? Probably not, but you know what? That's never gonna, that's never stopped me before. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're gonna want the Don Garrow's mask. I have been waiting for you, Don Ghetto. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. Are you telling me he's fat? Jeez, as you can see, Don Ghetto, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let's begin our course. Unfortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. 
Perhaps it is because winter is too long. The rest of the choir must not have realized that spring has come to the mountains. And when the great dawn, Garrow has come for us too. What's a pity. Where in the world could the rest of the choir be and what could they be doing? Well, good sirs. Well, good children. I'm going to be showing you where all the frogs are. First frog is in Clock Town. You've probably seen him around. He is the most famous of the frogs. In fact, he's so famous that I think we've only seen him once and that was it. Don't worry, we will see this frog a couple more times. Like, I think maybe one after, one more time after this. Maybe twice. I don't know. So guys, I decided to save this one to the end. Alright, Froggy, let's go. Ah, Don Ghetto, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? Now look, it is true. Winter was so long that I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. The laundry pool frog. Our next frog is in the good old southern swamp. The swamp. Shrek in the swamp. Uh, where, 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 where? Oh, sound the swamp. There it is. Wonderful. Our good old pal, the southern swamp. Uh, thing. And you know what? We're gonna take this time to do another side quest I've been neglecting for like since the very beginning. I think I mentioned it before, but I never did anything with it. Uh, where, where, where? Somewhere. The frog is somewhere in the uh. He's either in here or he's somewhere else. And if so, we'll save him for later. But there is one in here. He's on... Okay, yeah, he's not in here. He's on one of the logs. It, uh... In the, uh... In this area, somewhere. It's on one of them. Uh... Crap, man. Alright. I'm gonna swim around for a bit. I'm gonna cut away till we find them. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, frog number three lies right here. Remember we're on that boat ride in paradise? Yeah. That's where this will take us. So we take this. Oh, Don Gero, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be a spring finally come to the mountains? Yes, yes. Yes. So there's frog number two. I believe that means there are only two more fra fra frags. We need two more frags we gotta get. First, I think I'm gonna need a, a moment to uh, see if I can do this. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I can't. But, I mean, darn. Darn. Whoopsie. Uh. Yeah, I guess we'll cut away. I'll save, like, the thing I was going to show, since I can't really do it on the third day. We're gonna save it for, uh, another time. Maybe the next episode. Alright, I'm gonna cut away to the next frog. Frog number three. Sorry for the delay in my talk there. Uh, frog number three lies here within the Woodfall Temple. You probably already know who we're gonna visit. We're going to be visiting my one of my favorite mini-bosses in this game. I believe you've met him. He goes by the amazing name of... Uh, you know what? We're going to be God Mode. We're going to use our light arrows for this guy. It's our good pal. Geico. Poor Geico. He didn't last too long, boy. Alright. We're going to wreck this man right now. Watch this. Huh, he still stands. Gotta give the man credit, he survived. Uh, he's gonna die after this one, probably, but... I mean... What do you expect? It's, it's Geico. Oh, 
One of the best mini bosses in history. Good old Geico. Now his name is Gecko. But it's Geico. I was hoping it'd be like a green frog, so it'd actually be Geico speaking to us. Uh, where's my Don Gero's mask? Don Gero. Aw, uh, Don Gero. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, get get that frog choir going, bro. We're gonna get that frog choir going. This is added to your notebook. That leaves only one frog left, I believe. And the last frog lies in a place I'm going to show you in five seconds. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to that one dungeon everyone hates called Great Bay. Yeah, we're in Great Bay, which is where our last frog, froggy friend lies. I'm pretty sure you know who we are about to visit. The good old froggy. Okay, arrows, health, awesome. Oh, I need fire arrows. Whoop the freaking do, bro. This is a bunch of poopy if I've ever seen one. Alright, ice arrows, here we go. It's time to fight good old Geico again. Geico round two. Almost in the span of a freaking minute. Alright, just whack him. Watch that freaking... Give him a good old jump attack and then rinse and repeat. That's the way of the Geico, you know. That's the way of Geico. That's how he goes. That's how old Geico. That's how he goes. Watch me roll and watch me go. Watch me go and watch me go. Well, no, 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 that is it for old Geico. We're gonna put on our freaking Don Gero mask. Put on a good old Don Gero. Oh, Don Gero. Yes. Yes. Alright. Reunite the frog choir. That's four frogs. I believe that is all of them. We got the one from the mountains, we got the one from the laundry place, we got the one from the Saturn Swamp, we got the one from Woodfall, we got one from, not one, we got the one from, uh, uh, good old, got the one from here, I believe that is all of them, and if not, then I will look up where the last one is, I believe that is all of them, though, I'm going through this by memory, so, Give me, mem give me some credit, folks. Take some time to remember all this stuff. All right, now let's return to the mountain village. Get ourselves our good old reward. Because we have just wasted... I don't even think it's been like 10 minutes in this episode, actually. Maybe it has. I don't know. Maybe I'm being dumb. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with how late it is. I don't know. It's not that late. It's like 9 o'clock. So you probably be getting this episode the next day after I'm recording this. I'm trying to get it all done. All right, so now we got all the frogs. Time to do the good old frog choir. Yes, that's all of them. Well, if it isn't the great Don Garros, shall we sing once again? The conducting was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how deeply we were. Oh, I got my throat. This is how deeply we were moved by your spectacular conducting. Ladies and gentlemen, we did all that for just one piece of heart. But now we have 15 heart containers. And ladies and gentlemen, that is basically all we are going to do today. The main thing. Well, actually, no. There's still one tiny little thing I'd say we ought to take care of. Actually, probably a couple of things. We're gonna head to Clocktown again. 
good old clock town. And we're going to be doing something I like to call grinding for money. Excuse me, but let me take a look at you. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we've got 1,548. I don't think we'll be able to do it in this time period. But I want to at least gain like 500 rupees. And since we got the Chateau Romani, uh, I want to... Wait, I don't want to freaking put on the... No, no. Well, saw Don Garrow's mask. Uh, no, I want to go to the east side. So once we go do that... No, that's the west. I'm an idiot. Oh, no, it's the west side, bro. The west side. It's weird to think that there are only 20 more pieces of heart out in the world. I know it seems like kind of like a lot, but we... Out of the 52 in this game? That's pretty spectacular that we got all that. Son of a gun guard. Yeah, yeah, I'm a freaking god. Alright, so now what we're gonna do... It's gonna play the song of double time. Now I'm gonna probably cut away from most of this, but we're gonna cut away all the way to six at night. Because once it's night time, we got a little bit of time left. These guys appear, and as I've shown in my tactics before, 50 rupees a pop if you kill them. Very, very good. Now, what sucks is that there's only normally like two of them. Actually, wait, no, they respawn pretty frequently. So, in the span of a couple of seconds, you can get like 500 rupees, no problem. And that's kind of what we want to do. We want to grind up rupees with this method. Spawn very quickly. No problem at all. You just walk back and forth and do it 10 times to get 500 rupees. And then rinse and repeat. If all goes well, this should only really take us like 10 minutes. Like we're at 350 right now. I deposited rupees. Let's see. We need to donate. We need to get to 5,000. So this will get us to 2,000. So we are at... This will take only a couple cycles to do. And ladies and gentlemen, that was my tactic for how to get money quick. I'm going to go deposit this money. I'm going to cut away till we either don't have enough time. Because I wanted to hopefully get done with by like 10 o'clock. You'll see why. 10 or 11. I don't know. I think one of the two. I think I'll go for 11. But you'll see why. So I'm going to cut away. I'm going to grind us up a bunch of money. All right, so I got us all the way to like, I think 3,500, 3,000 or 300,500. So we got a little bit closer this time. Um, but it is 10 o'clock and you can only do this next thing on the third night. So we're gonna take care of it right now. You also need 500 rupees. So you wanna go to the curiosity shop and we talk to the guy. Yeah. All right, okay, big bomb bag. We're gonna check out. Huh. It's not here. The heck, man. Come on, man. Really? He doesn't have it? Oh, there goes that plan out the window. Guess that means I'll just continue grinding then for the rest of the time. I'll cut away till we get to 5,000. Okay, story time. I couldn't get to 4,000, not 4,000. I couldn't get to 5,000 in time. Ran out of time. I think I could probably clutch it, but I ran out of arrows and I don't. Yeah, whatever. Well, I got him. I got it up to 4,000. So with all that done, we're gonna be restarting time once more. We're going to be playing the song time. And now, what we're going to do 
before we end off this video. I'm pretty sure it was probably one of our shortest videos of this series. In fact, I think it might be the shortest video in the series. I don't know, maybe over like 15 minutes. I don't know. It's, uh, it was supposed to be a quickie, just do something else. I was gonna make it longer, but the one of the things that I wanted to do, we can't do until we have 16 heart containers. And also the other thing I wanted to do, we couldn't do it. That kind of ruined everything. We've got them all together, we just have to go to the clock tower. So, I know what people are all saying. They're like, oh no, you can't finish the game right now. I'm not doing it yet. So, what we're gonna be doing for this final time is uh, just chilling out, you know. We're gonna be uh, just kinda doing whatever we can uh, this cycle, because we're going to be starting uh, one of the longest, or actually not one of the, the longest side quest in this entire game. And it actually involves the mayor's office, if I can find it. Which is where we have to set things up for it. 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything we can do. So we're gonna play Song of Double Time. We're gonna play a good old Song of Double Time. We're gonna cut all the way to 10 a.m. Just so we can get this started. This next video is gonna be freaking long. It's gonna be filled with all sorts of fun little things. Or it may not be long. I don't know. Who knows? But we got the Gorman. The Gorman man. Hello, good sir. I also don't think this episode was all that great, honestly. Ah, bother, bother, I'm busy. I did not mean to talk to you. Alright. We wanna head into the right room, which is some place we've never been to. And, oh, hey, it's the little fish dude. The, the Zora dude. Are you the fins? Are the fins down plainly? That's the great thing used among us, Zora. Oh, forgive me, I am Toto, a manager of the Indiegogos. I'm out of business, God. So Zora Greens will have to do the Indiegogos, the popular group, blah, 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 This lady is important. Oh, dear, are you on a field trip, or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, 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 I say you have the face of a pro. The characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? Don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat. I've still lost five pounds. You haven't had it. You haven't anything, though. Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? Yes. Oh my, of course, you are an exp expert. Well, I'm counting on you. We're talking to this lady. You get the cafe's mask. And recruit to locate the missing person. Where is to inquire them about the missing camp cafe? Ladies, people, ladies and gentlemen, we are on a manhunt. Yes, we are on a manhunt. That is our goal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is actually going to, uh... Oh, whoa, well, what's going on here? Ooh. Oh my, things are getting steamy with the Gorman man and the lady at the counter. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to go here. Uh, Mr. Postman, you're actually very important to what we have to do next, but we will be, in fact, saving that for the uh, next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, next time... Actually, no, I should be doing my outro, which I am doing, but... I see that a lot, Jesus Christ. So, we gathered the frogs, the Don Garrow frogs, and we performed the frog choir. And that's about all we did, really. Just one piece of heart. That's all this episode was based on. But I think we got some good stuff on. We got close to $5,000 rupees, and we're setting up, and we set up our case for the Missing Cafe, the longest side quest in the game. So... Next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to be doing what I like to call, or what many people like to call, the Cafe Quest. See you guys then.